Uh, they don't have difficulty settings uh, for the demo, as far as I know. So we're just going in. You can see the demo build at the bottom right, too. Good of you to join us. Gotta say, your file was a pretty impressive read. I'm Colonel Fisher. You'll be reporting directly to me. We could certainly use someone with your track record. Intelligence has a situation brewing in, uh, full... Duh, duh, duh. Huh. In Iceland. We have routine tempest harvesting all over the grid, but some of the lights are going out, starting from the east coast. If you ask me, I reckon it looks deliberate. I want you to do a sweep of the area and flush out any dynasty forces you might find. Remind them that the GDF isn't to be trifled with. I'll link your control interface to the battle network. If you've got any questions, now's the time to voice them. Uh, yeah, they give you some cool dialogue options. Always uh, interesting. Despite what you hear in the news, the Tempest Dynasty isn't actually led by Domovoy Malkalin. You've seen his face. He's a figurehead, being puppeted around as a mascot. All because he founded the Dynasty, gave his people something to focus on in the fallout. It's PR. These days, he probably doesn't know where he is half the time. The Dynasty is actually controlled by Alex Malkalin, his son. That man's the reason the Dynasty even qualifies as a military, rather than a band of old men waving their sticks at the world because of how the war ended. They're a threat, sure, but only because they think they've got something to point. That's why we're here. Check it. Uh, this will go through them. The threat level is negligible. To be honest, I don't like it. If it is the dynasty, they're up to something. There's a lot of tempest all over Iceland, and you know they're obsessed mm -hmm. with this stuff. Why go all that way just to harass our harvesters? They've got their own irradiated zones to swallow over. Some of the motion capturing these scenes is pretty cool. It's a lot of effort. It's, it's always difficult when you got a game in, in early stages, like, do you prioritize doing the cutscenes? Do you prioritize the gameplay? According to scopes, nothing. We're chasing ghosts with guns. Maybe it is nothing, but I'll believe that when I see it. Take care of your units and keep your eyes sharp. They're All counting right. on you. I kind of get the vibes of, like, Halo from this guy. Glad to hear it. Stand by while I patch you through. Yeah, demo build, not Let's final quality. Do, also, I'm running an RTX 2060 with like 32 gigs of RAM for reference in terms of how this is running. Uh, I'm not seeing drop frames or anything. Um, the hitching and stuff, I don't know if this is because of the game. Uh, it's the first time I've run this setup in a while, so it shouldn't be too taxing on this system. But we'll see. Okay, so we got some options. Doctrine, Commissary, Armory. These are disabled for the moment. I'm guessing this is a bit like um, StarCraft, where you have your hub in between missions. You can kind of upgrade units and stuff. That's cool. Uh, settings. One thing I'd like to enable, if possible, is subtitles. Uh, I don't know if that is possible. Just for the chats. Audio. Game. I guess not. Hey, a pharaoh. Good to see you, man. Long time. Uh, you had that too with the stutters, Flippy. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Um, I don't see an option to turn on subtitles for the moment, so I guess we'll go ahead without them. Yeah, we yeah. Game's looking gorgeous in the menu so far. <laughs> fair enough, Adam. They got the very CNC mission select map. I do wish they let you click it, though. Oh, they do. Tempest mm. harvesting operations nice. have been disrupted in this area. Dynasty interference is suspected. Retake and hold the position. Await the arrival of a mobile construction vehicle, then build a base and recommence harvesting. Destroy any dynasty forces and search for signs of a nearby dynasty base. All right, uh, the button on the bottom right just says deploy. I know you can't really see it. Yeah, there you go. These cutscenes do look nice. Uh, I'm running on 1080p monitors, not 4K, but they still look real nice. What is that? 
<laughs> Imagine not having 4k. Sorry, loser. Go. Reinforcements have arrived. Can zoom in, zoom out, pan around the camera, holding in middle click. Commander. Doesn't seem to have left click move, so right click yes, move. Move out. You got it. Acknowledged. You got it. Affirmative. Moving out. Let's go. Can try and force fire the ground, but not doing much. Oh, first bad guy. <laughs> Adam, the thing is, this is. Um, I'm pretty sure they've got this in a state where it should run on even some low tier hardware. Uh, I originally gave it a go on my work laptop yes, and it ran, it was just super stuttery so I left it till I had this. Do I have hotkeys? I do. So these are like, um, you can have sub hotkeys, so they're all team 4, but this is team 3 as well, so it's very um, StarCraft. These guys are little, what, like drone operators? We can like move their drones separately, that's cool. Nice, explosive barrels. I guess you have to cancel these to be able to move them again. Gotcha. Ah. Hmm. I feel like that didn't go as planned. Okay, so Z to deploy the drones, X to bring them back. Anything else going on there? Uh, that's not good. Uh, don't really seem to have a lot of options here. You don't get it? it? Looks like the graphics have an extra dimension of depth, not a fan making you feel dizzy. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, Pharaoh, it looks okay. It might be the fact that you've got like the snow falling down and then you've got like the wind effects going to the side. If that's a bit funky. Commander. Roger that. Combat going down. It's the idea that I'm supposed to shoot these like this. Don't know what's happening over here.
Hmm, okay. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to just try and... I can either try and run past it with all of them? I don't think it's gonna go well. well let's just see. The first mission. Might get away with it. Yeah, there we go. Ah. Is Sentinel trucks? A quick work of that. Power plants. It's this little silo. So you can see you can have a sort of waypoint movement. I do like being able to use the um, barrels, it's a nice effect. Grenadiers, always nice, very GDI. Riot Medic doing his thing. You can deploy a healing turret, looks like. Commander. GDF forces collect intel as a resource. Intel is used to authorize limited countermeasures such as unit abilities and support powers. Sir, spinning her up. All right. We're off. Acknowledged. The Sentinel scout car's alternate fire mode exchanges firepower for marking rounds, generating intel when marked targets are destroyed. Okay. I guess I'll switch both of them. On alert. Let's see how that goes. Should probably micro the uh, drone operators back. Go on the grenadiers. Commander. Nice. Come, Roger that. Spitting her up. Got it. Surveying. Report. Acting. Off we go. Uh huh. The drone off. Report. On my way. Operate. We're off. Hold it. Acting. Roger that. Spitting her up. There's some of the cool Tempest effects. Oh man, like actually goes all the way in here. That's nice. There's no way I can like get one of these over. Yep. Okay. It's pretty good. Is there skirmish in the demo? Uh, I didn't see it in the main menu t enabled yet.
much what these crates are? Oh, it's money. Station over here. Uh, these things are silos, Adam. Power plants have like little electric arcs between them. The CNC player base is huge. Yeah. The biggest part is playing solo in the campaign. I think most of the Command and Conquer player base is um, based on the single player stuff. The online, there's like obviously like a very uh, try hardy community for it. Oh. MCV time. They even call it an MCV, that's cool. Ah, oh, you have to choose where to deploy it. Places a marking mine to target location. That's cool. Uh, so now you got to build structures, power plant, refinery. Let's get all the boys over first. I, think I lost my field medic earlier. It's not good. Or maybe he's still here. Uh, don't think so. Don't field scales drone operators. Nah. Is he here? No, he's not. It's alright. Uh, so, power plants. Uh, so, we got defenses, sandbags, walls, a Gatling turret. Uh, we got hockeys, E and R. It actually shows the hockeys on the, on the tabs. That's good. Uh, it uses the F1 hockeys for placing the structures, it looks like. So, I press F2 there. Uh, I don't, I want to check. I don't think that there is controls for flipping the buildings. Uh, doesn't seem to be. So I know in some of the later CNC's you can rotate the buildings on the axis. Uh, you can... Buildings look so different, so as soon as you put them on hockeys, you'll be fine. Yeah, can you set hockeys for these individually? I'm not sure. I didn't see anywhere in the menu where you could. Yeah, so we have already have a refinery here. New construction options. Yeah, next up we got a barracks. Constructing. Satellite up in infantry. Whoa, 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 go back, guys. Go back. Uh, got skits. Looks like there's like a um, mechanic up here for population. Although the HUD kind of covers it. Which I don't know about that. It's like 22 plus 9 out of 20. I don't see any way to hide or show this sub menu section. Set rally points for structures. Unit ready. You bet perfect building placement can be important as well. Yeah, on certain maps you need like the special tiles so you can funnel the enemy into your key structures, I guess. Uh, okay. Options. Commander, you can now train grenadiers from the Unit barracks. Ready. The satellite uplink will also collect intel passively. Hmm. Cool. 
Seems like all the structures of individual stats here as well for like armor, perks. It's pretty cool. Set rally point, unload. Unit ready. Interesting. I wonder if I can send like the drone operator up here and then come around and use a little drone dude. Ah! Nope, is the answer to that. <laughs> they have AA. Uh, I need power, I do indeed. Good shape, is it? Because if you had enough field up, if you had enough drone operators in the cliff, I'd say you could send a lot of a lot of dudes down. Yeah, airstrike requires three thousand. See how this goes. Here they come. Cool. Requires specialist limit reached. Hmm. Oh, he's all the way back here. I knew, I knew he was somewhere. Should have been looking at the Mima. Wonder what, how he got left behind. I build. I don't really have the resources for this. If I build a second barracks, does it give you another queue? So you see a bunch of stuff linked here. You can always build it and see. So you've got two separate build queues. You can double click the buildings to select all and have them running to the same location, that's cool. Unit ready. Unit seems pretty giant tanky. Combat doesn't feel very impactful. Some of that is just the composition of units I'm using, I guess. I'm kind of just taking all the units and headbutting the enemy. It's not really the way they'd want you to do it. It costs mo money to do things like deploy um, mines. I'm not a huge fan of that. Also, flame is open in this. Hmm. I guess at this point I could try the old sell the conyard trick. It's the conyard, right? It doesn't let you? It doesn't let you sell the conyard? I wonder if that's just a protection for the campaign. Repairing the tank? He. No, he's not. Just shooting past him. Insufficient funds. Is 
second ref. Uh, my eco is pretty bad. I can barely afford it. There is a question about if this was 2200 in um, CNC. Usually the ref cost includes the cost of the unit, so if you sell it, you only get back like half of 300 as opposed to like the two grand the thing costs. So I could try and sell the ref before the mission ends. Let me just take out all this stuff first. Okay, so my money at the moment is what, 300? 500, 400. So if this would give me half Unit back, it would be like 1100. Uh, so let's see how much it gives back. It gives about 500 back. So it gives 500 back, which is probably what, indicating that maybe they're cheaper harvesters than this. The economy is scale and that's gonna be interesting. And cheers to the bits below. Gonna do your boys. Inflation is real, there are only two grand in TD. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Cool. What's the first GDF mission? Battle command uplink initializing. Please stand by. The dynasty have amassed an enormous army right under our noses. And as of ten minutes ago, while the GDF council was debating whether to even respond, the dynasty have launched attacks across our western border. They've been planning this for god knows how long. Psycom, code red. Issue an immediate retreat order to all GDF units in 10 miles. Get our troops out of there. Weapons free. These things fire, fire back. Get our drone fleet in the air and get me a satellite pointed at this. I want to know what the hell we're dealing with. Cool. Soundtracks are good. on their way to you. Pull that base apart. <laughs> yeah, pretty much side on. It this it's it's kind of a weird mix up of scene of C and C stuff. Uh and Starcraft. It's cool though. That campaign centering will be awesome. Yeah, the the they, they kind of set it up that way, right? Worried about multiplayer? Uh, they put their little ad in there because <laughs> they know people are streaming it. Makes sense. Uh, so that was the G 